I, I think, uh, let me start with Sniper. I, I found the opening uh, of the film and the hook of the film very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Something very, very engaging. Um, I'll, I'll just say a few lines because I don't want to give too much out about each film, also, each script also. So on, on Sniper, what I really felt was the, the opening uh, of, the, of the film was something that really immediately grabbed me. Um, and it was, was written in a very racy and PC kind of a style. Uh, who Will Marry Thomas is such an unusual idea and it's such a fascinating idea. Uh, it was a you know, journey that really took me into that world and uh, I just loved it. Um, uh, and uh, the funeral again was, uh, was something that was written in a way which very unusually, very unusual story but you come to know the characters so closely and the the way the atmosphere is created about, you know, the rain falling and the floods is really, uh, you know, something that you can almost feel you can touch. Uh, again, the character is very well written uh, and, and the lead character of the girl is wonderfully written. Um, Ishkology, again, uh, <laughs> a great thought of, you know, is uh, science or technology uh, more accurate than what your heart says and what you trust? Uh, with written with a lot of humor and you know wonderfully written, and uh, two brides, two brides just when that two wives get brides get changed, I was like whoa! <laughs> now what's going to happen? You know, I was really excited when I was reading that, and I loved the way it was also developed, uh, and the character of that girl is so well written. In fact, all the characters, I think that, so it's, it's, you know, all the five films are unique, very different from each other also. And all of them have got uh, a certain heart in it, uh, which, is, which is so wonderful to see. You know, also, like what you said, that each and every film is definitely very, very distinct, unique, uh, each script. Uh, but what also happened while I was reading them and after finishing each script, um, there was a smile on my face because there's this writer, script is one part, but what is actually the script? Script is a writer's mind, his soul, his thought, his philosophy, his sum total of his experiences. And I was really eager to meet these people who had written these stories because there are these five people over here who are trying their best to retain some amount of righteousness through their writing. You know, it's their mind. I really respect all of them because um, whether it's the revenge story, whether it's the two brides, whether it's a uh, sniper funeral or uh, who will marry Thomas, there's such orish clergy. Um, they have tried their best to retain the... I I'm not saying that all the films need to be very right and correct and morally sound. No, the characters are very quirky. They've ha all of them have shades of grey and all. But in the end, the purpose of film, not just film, the purpose of cinema, why do we make films? One is, you know, your normal feature film, normal regular film, and one is cinema. I think all of them um, go to that stage. The purpose of cinema is much bigger than entertainment. And I thought that was coming out beautifully in their scripts. It wasn't just to entertain. It's saying a very, very big point, all these films, in very, you know, they're set in villages, they're set in small towns, and you know that our country has these people, has these characters. They didn't look like characters who've just brought in from somewhere else. So I felt very good after reading all these films, and, and I was eager to meet you because it's your mind, and I'm really fascinated by it, really. I have sort of said more or less from there what I felt. I can only uh, emphasize one thing, that there's an honesty. That you people approached it without thinking, okay, okay, this may impress so and so, or yeah, this particular actor might want to do it, or these things these days are running, that is the trend, so let me try and, try and fit into that trend. How much money None of these thoughts sort of came in, which is why there is this fresh freshness to it. Each one looks very, very individualistically written, that it's come from a unique mind, and which is what every writer has, I mean, uh, his or her own unique mind. Okay? 
And it's really a bit of a shame that, uh, Atika, we don't have women there, but we couldn't help it. I mean, we just sort of chose these. No, I would have liked it very much because one of the things that we were also looking out for is to encourage more women to also enter screenwriting. I mean, it being such a wonderful field, as you know. It just so turned out. I mean, in next the... Next year. Yeah, next year we're hoping that will happen. But next year, once again, we'll be blindfolded. So we don't pick... And we will not allow ourselves to pick a, okay, because she's a woman, please give her that space. No, no, that kind of obviously tokenism no one is doing. But anyway, we are hoping that this will open out. We'll also do a demographic of to see how many women have applied. I'm sure now, by now, we have that statistic. That should be encouraging, and I think we should also declare that. Okay, and also a regional breakup. It will be nice to see from where all people have been coming. So, shall we now move to the uh, final uh, climax of this? Okay. Okay, here comes the uh, big one. This is the announcement and of the winners and the awarding of the prize money and the certificates to your people by our esteemed jury sitting here, half of it. So, I'm going to start from uh, bottom upwards, go in uh, ascending order. So, the fifth prize amongst the five of you Okay, it's for a story which is very hard hitting, which is led by a woman and uh, which is a throbbing thriller. So the story's title is Sniper and the writer who takes this award is Mr. Sagar Pandya. <laughs> Juhi. I, uh... Right, so now we come to the final two. Huh? <laughs> Biplav and Christo. Actually, let's not announce this at all. Okay, we'll close it here now. You'll be in suspense. <laughs> Don't perspire. <laughs> okay, so the fourth, I mean, the fourth meaning, the second prize goes to, once again, a very, very, a story based on a very unusual concept, something which made Amir leap out of his bed when he was reading it that night. It's about how in a crowded train, a rather unfortunate mix-up takes place. 
and two brides get exchanged, and then the series of events which sort of flow out of that, causing humor as well as pathos, deeply emotionally written. And the title of the story is Two Brides, and the author is Biplab Goswami. <laughs> Now I wonder who the top prize goes to. <laughs> who could it be, possibly? I also have to uh, reveal uh, uh, confidential matter here, that seldom when people, when a jury of four is judging stories, scripts based on stories, seldom are the decisions unanimous. Okay, because it, there is, I told you, a subjective element. Certain things appeal to me in a particular way and might sort of appeal to somebody else differently. So there was a lot of confabulation. There was a lot of debate. There weren't, weren't that many differences at all. But yeah, a couple of places we did have to discuss again and again and rediscuss. And I had to reread also to try and also again enter the discussion in a more substantial way. So hence, you do have to realize that it's a consensus that we have arrived at. As, but it's a... It's a uh, to use Rajdeep's word, it was, I think it was a scientific consensus, okay? <laughs> Therefore, perhaps truthful. So the final, the top award of the prize, cash prize of 25 lakh goes to Christo Tomi for the funeral. I mean, hi everyone. I mean, uh, I mean, it's an honor to be here. I mean, it's, it's an honor to be awarded by, I mean, uh, such esteemed jury. And while applying it, I never thought of anything. I mean, I was writing the script, and all I wanted was to make this film. And uh, uh, and it has been a hard journey. Like it took uh, two years and two and a half years to write it. And there were many times when you know uh, things were not working, and you know mm, there is no money to you know support yourself and all that. So. Uh, but uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, all that drive me was, you know, to be able to tell this story and make this film. So I mean, I mean, thanks, Sinisan and every each and every one of you know to give me this opportunity to you know uh, being here and you know hopefully we'll be able to make the film soon. So thanks a lot. I mean. Congratulations again. Yeah, so he's, he's getting 25, and the rest of the 25 is being shared with the other four. Um, I just wanted to clarify. Somebody just asked me again. They said, Aapne to sari padli hoengi? So I said, no. We, I wear two different hats. So they said, are you going to be making? I said, that's up to our team here. So Sinistan Film Company, these two ladies and their team, Deborah, Tessa, uh, it's up to them if they wish to make one of these films, and they're competing with the rest in the pitch sessions. <laughs> Uh, just like everyone else, Sinistan Film Company is a different company. I wear two hats. I'm chairman of both. I want to also thank the one guy who's my partner in many of my companies, and I get all the thanks, and he's always busy, and that's Anand Mahindra. Uh, Anand has personally invested in Sinistan with me, um, and it's really his faith and trust which makes us do all these wonderful things. I'd also like to end by thanking my team here. Uh, there's Ambika, there's uh, Ritika, Urvi, Sana, Zaheer, a huge number of people, uh, Rajesh, Roman, uh, who people don't really see, uh, Shahid, uh, we um, uh, owe them a lot. It's a lot of work that's gone in. And actually, I want to just, again, uh, this, you know, when I was talking about Mumbai Mantra, Sundance, 
What I wanted to segue into, which I didn't, was that what we managed to do, just by the sheer amplification by Amir, <laughs> Raju, Juhi, Anjum, has been phenomenal. We've actually been able to reach out, and I think this year we'll reach out even more. We'll learn so much from this. So thank you again for, for giving us so generously, all of you. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to sort of, um, I forgot to announce the um, quantum of the prizes. The first prize is 25 lakh, second prize is 10 lakh, third prize is 7 lakh, fourth prize is 5 lakh, and the last prize, the fifth prize is 3 lakh. Now that the second edition has been announced, and uh, I want to really underline the value of Sinistan Contest's relationship with the Screenwriters Association. Two of their representatives are sitting here. The Writers Association has been enormously supportive and helpful in actually spreading the word around and lending their credibility to further boost the prestige of this uh, contest. So the second edition has been announced. The jury remains the same. They cannot escape from our clutches. And the prize money remains the same. And Rohit cannot escape from our clutches either. <laughs> so that is, that is on. And the deadline to submit the stories is right now 22nd of January. OK, the, on the website, all the details are given, the frequently asked questions and rules and regulations. Everything has been framed very simply and lucidly and unambiguously, so you're welcome to go there and spread the word around. They can also be amongst those top five who apply. So thank you very much, and Sukhpreet, if you can do the final honors, whatever it is that you are supposed no, to do, please. That's it, ahead. that's all I wanted to do. Thank you so much, it's been very, very late now. Thank you for coming, and thank you for being so patient.